Hi kindergartners, let's practice our letters and sounds. You can see that today we're going to learn a new letter, but before we talk about that new letter, let's review all of our old letters that we've already learned. We're gonna do look, listen, and say, so I'll put down a letter, I'll say the name and the sound, and then you repeat it. Ready? X, X, F, F, A, A, N, N, P, P, B, B, A, A, C, K, O, A, 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 I, I, O, A, G, 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 M, M, I, I, D, D, N, N, T, T, R, R, M, M, S, S, B, B, G, G, C, K, P, P, F, F, D, D, X, X, R, R, S, S, T, T. Good job. And our new letter is the letter E. E makes the sound eh, eh, like egg. Here's the capital E. It's made with a straight line down, a line across the top, in the middle, and on the bottom. Here's the lowercase e. It's made with a line across, up, and around. That is the letter E, eh. Let's read a book that talks about that letter E. Now, E is a vowel, like the letters A, E, I, O, U. And vowels, if you'll remember, can make two different sounds. Sometimes they make the short sound, like a, ah, or e. Eh. Sometimes they say their name, like a or e. So this book is going to talk about both of those sounds. It is called My E Book. Little E had a box. I will fill my box, he said. Little E found eggs. Eggs, eggs. He put the eggs into his box. Little E found elves. The elves danced and danced. So eggs and elves both start with that eh, eh, e sound. Then little E put the elves into his box. The elves played with the eggs. Be careful, elves, said little E. Uh-oh, they were not very careful. Now the box was heavy, so little E found an elephant, a big elephant. Uh-oh. Hop on, said the elephant. The elephant went up and down. The eggs fell out of the box. The elves fell too. So did little E. What a mess, little E said. Look at the word mess. M -e -s. M-E-S-S. It has that eh E sound. Now who will help me fill my box? An Eskimo came by. I will help you, he said. We will find lots of eggs. 
guess where he found eggs for little E? Looks like they went to the Easter Bunny's house. Guess who had pretty, pretty eggs for everyone? More words with little E. Elevator. Envelope. Little E has another sound in some words. He says his name. Listen for little E's name. Eagle. Eel. Emu. Easter. All right. So we're going to practice writing that letter E. So I'm going to pull my paper out grab a marker and you'll notice that my paper has three lines. There's a top line, the middle line, which we like to call the fence, and then the bottom line or the ground. So when I make a capital E, I'm going to start all the way at the top and make a straight line, pull it down towards my belly button, just like that. Then I'm going to pick up my marker, go up to the top and slide across the sky, across the fence, and across the ground. And now I have a capital E. Lowercase e is going to stay between the fence and the ground. It's not going to go up this high. So I'm going to start kind of in the middle of these two lines and I'm going to slide across. Then I'm going to curve up and around. Notice how that e sits right on that line. So watch again. Down across, 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 and then the lowercase e, across, up, and around. I'm going to show you two more. You can be practicing right now, or you can practice these in a little bit. Across, up, and around. Last one, down, across, across, across. And lowercase e is across, up, and around, just like that. Nice job. And now we're going to draw a few pictures that start with e. So I'm going to take this piece of white paper, and I'm going to fold it in half. You can use any kind of paper that you have at home. I'm going to fold it in half so it's kind of like a book. But then I'm going to fold it one more time. So I'm going to take the bottom and pull it right up towards the top and squish it down. Now, when I open my paper back up, I have four boxes. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna start with an easy picture that starts with E, and that's an egg. For an egg, I'm just gonna make an oval shape. Curve around, stretch it out, and back up to the top. Now I can just leave it a plain white egg, or I can make it a fancy Easter egg by adding some lines, some zigzag lines, maybe some more lines, and maybe right here in this space I'll make some circles. And then I can go back and color that in. The word egg has an E at the beginning, e g. We only hear one G, but there's actually two G's. Egg. All right. My next picture, I'm going to make two short lines. I'm going to make them a little ways apart. And then I'm going to connect those with two long lines. So the shape I just made is a rectangle. Now I'm going to make a triangle by making the letter V. So I'm gonna start in this corner, I'm gonna go down, and then I'm gonna go back up to that corner. Can you tell what that's a picture of? That's an envelope, like you get in the mail. Envelope is a long word, let's stretch it out. En And in order to make that O say its name instead of A, ah, we're going to add an E at the end that you can't hear. There's the word envelope. Now we're going to go down to this box and we're going to make part of a body. So I'm going to start with the shoulder, curve 
curve down. And I'm going to make that come around so you can see the other side. We can make a little neck in the top part of a head too if you want, but mine doesn't have much room. The important part is going to come out over here, out and back in, out and back in, and then I'm going to make a little arrow that points right there. What part of the body is that? That's right, that's an elbow. So now I'm going to write the word elbow. Ready? Eh. Oh. B. Oh. All right. Now for the trickiest picture of all, we're going to draw an elephant. So we're going to start right here. We're going to scooch over and fall down. Now we're going to go curve this way and up, slide over, and then we're going to follow that same line back. Curve down and back up. You see what part that's going to be? Then we're going to make his legs. So I'm going to slide over, up, over, down, over, up. And then we've got to connect those. All right, so you might be thinking, but that elephant only has two legs. Elephants have four. We just can't see the other ones as good because they're on the other side. So I'm going to make it look like he's walking by making this leg stick out this way. And then I'm going to make this leg stick out this way. I'm going to add some little toes just by making little bumps. Give him three toes on each foot. Then we're going to go back up and we'll give him an eye. I'm going to give my elephant some eyelashes. We don't want to forget, forget the ear, so I'm going to make kind of a big backwards C shape for the ear. Let's add a tail. And then you can add a little smile. If you want to add a tusk, you can add a tusk. And there's your elephant. Elephant's a long word, so let's stretch that out. L, eh, two E's. Now that F sounds like an F sound, but this actually is a P and an H. When you put those two letters together in a word, it does make the F, F sound. L, F, and T. There we go. You just drew an egg, envelope, elbow, and elephant that all start with that letter E. Good job. Keep practicing. Bye.